Alright, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? G.I. Geo Gamer here, and today we are back with a brand new StarCraft 2 video. And today is a good day. I finally have fixed the flippin' frame lag. Um, I can now record in a solid 30 FPS. I um, haven't tried 60 yet. Uh, probably will after this video, but all I had to do was go into StarCraft. Oops, sorry about that. All I had to do was go into Star uh, StarCraft 2 uh, and enable a uh, vertical sync, and that fixed it all, so that's good. But anyway, into this video. Starting off in the top right, it is me, the Zerg player, the blue. And in the bottom left, the red player, it is a Protoss. Absolute noob, GI Geo Gamer. Let's see how this goes. So I played this game uh, a few minutes ago. This is the last game I played. And uh, it actually turned out uh, really good. I was really pleased with it. So, uh, you know, we're just doing a basic start off. We got our overlords moving across the map. S chill stuff. He's uh, putting up his natural here in just a minute. Saving up the minerals. Alright. It should be spawning that in in just a minute. Uh, there it goes. Okay. Oh, wait. Because it's 400 for a Protoss, right? And uh, so, you know, starting off, he's already got his gas going. I just started mine up, playing pretty simple game, simple starter. Uh, just moving the overload in so I can watch things, see if he pushes out. And, you know, just the basic, basic beginning stuff. Y'all know it. We catch his probe moving across the map. Y'all saw that. Um, and so there's really nothing we can do about it. Uh, spawning pool is going up, but he'll still be able to scout our entire base. Not that big of a deal uh, for what I had in mind to play anyway. So he pushes up just as the pool finished. So I immediately get cranking out four zerglings, double queens. See if he's six zerglings. If he keeps the probe in here, that probe is dying. You know, if he keeps it in here, uh, the queens for injects got an, another a tenth zergling. Uh, batch of zerglings, so they're all pushing out. All right, we got zerglings out. We're chasing that probe down and Interestingly enough he sends it down and then just stops it. I'm assuming for a, a Pylon or maybe a scout later on, but we can just go ahead and simply take that out Now he of course saw four zerglings. He does not realize that I have like 10 or 12 at this point So, uh, you know, we can start moving those out across the map Again, just working on getting our eco, we got our injects going, got our single gas, uh, link speed is moving, or is coming right now. Basic starters, at this point he already has his mothership core, which, um, you know, obviously can use photon over overcharge and also just shoot down zerglings. He's got his wall up, as you can see, we scout in here, see that core and back out. Now, I wanted to check and see if he had it fully walled off, see what he was up to, see that again, just back out. Didn't even lose one uh, ling there. And so we're just playing pretty standard. We're going to back up to, what is this called? Uh, the Zelnaga Tower, uh, the Watchtower in the middle of the map. And again, just start working on things. I threw down my Roach Warren right there um, just because, I don't know, I saw that he was just making an adept and uh, probably was going to continue making them. Uh, interestingly enough, he only has one warp gate at this point, which I think is his main issue currently. Um, you know, we got our evolution chamber going down. Interesting placements there, I kind of blocked that in. Um, I like to do that, just wall off the base. Got our other gas up, you know, just again, filling up with drones. At this point, it's 26 drones to 34 probes, um, which is interesting. You know, Zergs, it, Zerg are supposed to have the most... Uh, villagers or miners, uh, whatever you want to say, but uh, he was still beating me for economy here But just me having the army presence <coughs> Excuse me Me having the army presence down there, you know uh, Just for that quick push keeping him locked up in there couldn't do anything uh, You know we got our main maxed out our natural is doing pretty well as well and he starts flying out an observer here. Oh wow, so he scouted me and I never saw this. Oh, I actually never saw that when I played. Interestingly enough. 
How much did he actually scout? Because I didn't have any detection. I'm curious. Um, but, you know, just we're creating out a ton of drones and a couple roaches. Uh, because, you know, roaches can pretty easily kill adepts. Oh, wow. So he actually scouted. Did he scout the roaches? He just stopped right there. Interesting. All right. Oh, wait. Yeah, interesting. Uh, so we got a roach up again. I don't I don't see the roach upgrade. I always go s I forget about upgrades a lot guys not gonna lie. Uh, we went for um, missile attack and ground carapace and We're throwing up our third hatchery at this point. Uh, we got our hydroden going down Essentially just getting ready to make an army. He's got he's got a couple of mortals producing adept stalker build He's got his warp gates going uh, oh, I did. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yo, yo, stop, stop, stop. I forgot about this drop. So, while all this is going down, I had morphed two overlords and gave them the ventral sacks. Loaded up a couple um, of my zerglings as the roaches came in to support and flew them over. Uh, now, how do I check the units lost? L. Alright. So, uh, as you can see, I just came in here, dropped off a couple. Uh, links. They went for the pylon, then I switched them over. At this point, he's already caught on. I don't think I killed a single worker. I didn't kill a single worker in that. That was a wasted push. Forgot a link. He comes over and gets killed. Nothing really big from that. Uh, we do have our roaches moving out across the map. Again, just creating as many roaches as possible, waiting for plus one, plus one to be done. His plus one, uh, his plus two just now starting. Uh, his phoenix coming in. I knew he would get some air, which is why I did make that hydro den. Uh, as you can see, I started making a couple hydros. The timing was just amazing in this game. Um, I want to see what is this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So this shows us, you know, supply, or is that just army? Yeah, that's supply as a whole and our resources. Which you can see up there. That's kind of pointless. Uh, APM 128 average. He was playing pretty slow. Uh, which I don't know it was interesting uh, again He still has two more probes than me. I need to drone up way more when I play uh, But you know I make some more drones here again just constant. We got our plus twos coming in We got our Hydra and Roach upgrades coming in and uh, We're just working on our army right here. Really. Uh, I saw this uh, Phoenix Um Actually, you know what? I didn't see it that time. But he flies it up here. And then flies it back down, I believe. Which I was ready for. Now, he's floating a lot of resources, especially minerals. I'm being very on top of my minerals, on top of my gas. Spending them an army. Getting my injects done as best as I can. And, um... We sent in that ling, scouted out a little bit of his army composition. Again, we have a good amount of roaches. Uh, our hydras, see, we just sniped that. Uh, we have a good amount of roaches. And, you know, the links for the cannon fodder for the immortals. Because immortals can do a good amount of damage. See, again, this observer I never saw. Um, I, I never knew you were scouting my army. Uh, but again, he's just scouting everything I have rushing out, but I just had a constant flow of troops Constantly moving in, you know, I got my base. Uh, this one's almost maxed. That one's maxed Got a good amount of workers on that one If we check the units tab 49 to 44, I finally passed them in economy and look at how many troops I just have cranked out or ha already have cranked out and then the, the production tab if you watch up here is just a constant flow Roach Hydra Overlord, Roach Hydra Overlord, with a couple Zerglings in between. He still has... Alright, we're pushing in here. This was the first push I did. Um, I feel like I played it pretty well. Roach is in front, Zerglings is cannon fodder. I just didn't have the army, um, even though I have a way higher supply. As you can see, this would have been suicide to keep pushing. He was just warping in. I backed out a little bit. He didn't pursue. He pushed me out of his base and then turned back, which I feel like was his main mistake. If you look at the production, we're just going to have constant troops flowing in. Um, roaches, Hydras, Zerglings. Our um, plus two armor is almost done. 
He's going for plus three weapons. I don't even, yeah, I don't even let him get that far. Uh, he got his charge, another mothership core. But just the constant flow, keeping those injects going, having a good economy. I did throw down a fourth hatchery. But look at all these hydras. That's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so that's like 17, 16 hydras, 15, and then I had 16 roaches, and then just a ton of 16 lings, just cannon fodder. Uh, if, you, if you look up in the supply, you can see I have more, you know, of everything. If we look at income, my stuff is coming in way uh, quicker, just it's flowing in constantly. I have more than him, uh, you know, it, it was a pretty good, well played game. Uh, if we watch this... We'll be able to go ahead and see units lost 44 to 22 we're gonna push in here we got our cannon fodder our overseers in case he scouts he did put his army up there which i wasn't expecting uh but you know the roaches still were in front for the most part we managed to snipe them all down we had good upgrades he's just losing countless units here um we managed to overwhelm him pushed right in took out his base at this point there's really nothing he can do he's warped in he only has five warp gates he calls gg and we won that game now that was an interesting game for me because i feel like for the most part i played everything to the best of my ability i had upgrades coming constantly i had throw down the infestation pit so i could get a hive to continue the upgrades had the hydro den had the roach warren um had the double quadruple quadruple gas which was plenty a perfect amount i had all my queens and all my bases this hash had just gone up overlords i had kept on top of them pretty well and uh, i don't know it was just a good game all together good army composition and uh yeah it was a lot of fun uh, i just played that one a few minutes ago i'm gonna go see if i can play a couple more like it guys if you did enjoy this video be sure to leave a like subscribe down below as always i am going to be throwing in some other videos for sure uh, besides starcraft but i'm having a lot of fun in this game right now so that's what i'm going to keep uploading guys if you did enjoy i'll definitely see you in the next one goodbye